The concerts we made, all the excitement, the, the children running around, getting all the candles ready. We were putting the music pages on the music stands. Oh, that was a job. Uh, 20 sets of music pages for the musicians and, and, and 40 sets for the singers. Oh, poor Anna Magdalena was always copying out some last minute music and, and shouting at the children to get dressed. Uh, Shoes, choir gowns, rosin for the bows, reeds for the woodwinds, wigs. Oh, you know we had to wear wigs. Didn't they itch? Oh, yeah. Itch. Stank and uh, hot. Powder all over your clothes. Ah, they were a great big nuisance, those stupid wigs. And, and, and always getting lost. <laughs> but... Oh, I miss the concerts. I'm starved. I'm starved. Got any food? Got any food? Coke? Coke! What do we get? What do we get? Pizza? Pizza! French fries? French fries! Ice cream! Ice cream! Get apple cooking mit Schlager, your, your, your apple pie and whipped cream, and come straight back. Oh, what a business. Kids. Mind you, it's good to be with kids. Uh, I had 20, you know. 20? Yeah, yeah, that's why I have my boys here. I'm, I'm used to it. Kiss me young, yeah? <laughs> oh, these boys are very, very good, you know. Uh, when I was a child, I went to a special school for boys with good voices. And, and they had to be poor, too. Well, we were very poor. And even when my voice broke, they let me stay because I could play the violin and the harpsichord. So you see, boys, you better get good at something else because you won't be singing forever. Thank goodness. I'd rather play hockey. Oh, it was terrific, that school. And what a music library. And, and the people I met, composers, musicians. Mind you, uh, none of them could teach like my big brother, Johann Christoph. <laughs> 